Confusion, chaos, frustration, stress and restlessness are the expressions that one can easily observe on the faces of almost all the Kashmiri youth. Twenty years of turmoil have inflicted such a big blow to the Kashmir that have left both physical and mental victims. The outcome of this period is visible on the faces of these youngsters who have been educated in tough times but till now haven't been able to find a job for themselves. The public relation officer of the university told us that every year more than 5,000 students graduate from the only university of Kashmir and now they are trying to help them get placed on the job. We have university departments around about 50 now and we have many affiliated colleges including our engineering and medical colleges and now we have a chain of beard colleges. So putting them together, yes, we have more than 5,000 students which, who pass uh, every year from university and its affiliated colleges. But according to the students, so far the placement cell hasn't proved of any help to the graduates and their hopes have remained unfulfilled. The government records show there are about 500,000 registered, educated, unemployed youths in Kashmir and the government predicts to have more of them. As the employment officer says, there have been multiple reasons for the unemployment in the valley. There has been an unemployment problem throughout the country, but it's uh, more so in Kashmir because of we have gone through a very rough period, we have gone through a very difficult patch, difficult time, and that was the time when the economy opened up and uh, you know in the rest of the country everything started happening. So we don't have much of private sector, we don't have many jobs available in the private sector, uh, and uh, that is the reason why people are unemployed. The government has promised these youths many times to create vacancies in the government as well as the private sectors. But unfortunately, the government's low intake capacity and the fear among private investors to invest in Kashmir have added up to the unrest among the youth. Once you complete your uh, higher education, you, uh, you have certain expectations. Expectation level, your expectation level rises. You know, your needs rise, your expectations rise. So as per that, you need to have a good job. But looking at the current situation of Kashmir Valley, there are no jobs here. There are a few youngsters who want to be entrepreneurs rather than asking the government for a job, as they have developed the understanding of creating job opportunities for themselves rather than relying on the government. But they are disappointed with the way the government functions and treats them. Even if a student or an entrepreneur starts something of his own, he goes to government offices for registrations, for approvals, the corruption comes into play. Besides the turmoil, there is a tragedy for Kashmir's unemployed youth. The recession which has hit the area is adding to the sufferings of those who have worked in the Western and the Persian Gulf countries. Mohsen and Saqib have studied management in the University of Wales in Cardiff and were hopeful of getting a job at the end of their education. But recession hit them at the wrong time and now they're back to Kashmir. I was expecting a good job over here in India in Kashmir, but unfortunately because of recession, I'm not able to grab a good job of my standards. I'm getting all the jobs over here, but they are like you are overqualified or you are a UK MBA, so you are expecting much salary. I can say they are discriminating us a bit. No, Dubai is hit right now with the credit crunch, so you can't go to Dubai. And in UK, it's, it's really difficult to get a job. For a fresher, I know I'm a fresher, I don't have any experience, so it's really difficult to get a job, you know, the entry level job as well. Moreover, they say if they get a job, their income will not be more than $200 a month. Saqib tells us each of his days in Kashmir starts with depression since he has nothing to do. But the experts say recession has hardly affected Kashmir and the problem lies somewhere in the low pace of development. Although people have become more conscious now in choosing their career studies and are behaving according to the market demands. The students have realized that if they have to develop a good career that is only possible if they match the programs on the basis of their competence, on the basis of their attitude. And the trend has already started and I'm sure over the next one decade uh, this will get uh, popularized and uh, the students will not choose courses without the counseling. The immediate close down of traditional industries, businesses and lack of private investors to invest in Kashmir due to the turmoil has been the reason for the poor economy. And as a result, the unrest among the youth due to unemployment. The experts say there's a need for change of mindset rather than mere relying on traditional means of earning. The promises made by the politicians for generating employment during election rallies and political campaigns seems like a distinct dream for Kashmiri youth. 
However, the experts say government must take initiatives to invite private investors and multinational companies to invest in Kashmir to save the future of tens of thousands of Kashmiri youngsters. Shahanabad, Press TV, Indian administered Kashmir.